£42,000 in prize money and 50 races in all. And Barry Hill Lad leads to the first. Wayward Lad is second and Coombs Ditch is third. The next one they take is the first of four open ditches. And it's Barry Hill Lad from Wayward Lad and Coombs Ditch. And Wayward Lad much closer comes to it. The bold jump by him. See the shadow of Coombs Ditch. So that one was over safely in third place. They swing right handed. Barry Hill Lad. Wayward Lad and Coombs Ditch. So, cat and mouse, tactics, tension. Borough Hill Lad, the leader. Wayward Lad in second place and Coombs Ditch in third. So, they've got four fences to jump when they level up into the far straight. The first one is a plain fence. That's the one that's just homing into the picture now. A plain fence then. And as they come down to it, it's Borough Hill Lad from Wayward Lad and Coombs Ditch. This is the third. Two jumped it together. Coombs Ditch jumped with plenty of daylight between himself and the fence. This is a fence. Uh, this is a ditch, I should say. A ditch. Borough Hill Lad as they come to it. Borough Hill Lad from Wayward Lad. And Coombs Ditch jumping a bit better now. Going down towards the fifth. Borough Hill Lad, Wayward Lad. Matching strides as they go into this. And Wayward Lad, the better jump. Wayward Lad, Borough Hill Lad, as they go to the sixth, two, one, up. And again, the better jump by Wayward Lad. Borough Hill Lad on the inner. Coombs Ditch back in third. And John Oakes at this stage. Things going according to plan, would you say? These are the new tactics, there's no doubt about that. Wayward Lad isn't tracking Borough Hill Lad, he's taking him on, and on at least two occasions, at at least two fences, he has outjumped him. And of course, if he can do, do that, it's just conceivable that he might tempt Borough Hill Lad into error. This big horse used to make the odd mistake. Coming to the first fence in the straight now, they both jumped it perfectly well with Wayward Lad just about half a length in front. That's not a particularly satisfactory situation for John Frankham because if you're half a length in front, your horse quite often, you see, Borough Hill Lad didn't jump that well. Wayward Lad got a length there. Uh, Robert, these are undoubtedly, this is undoubtedly going according to Robert Earnshaw's plan at the moment. Wayward Lad going beautifully as they come to what will be the last, the next time round. They both pinged that. Coombs Ditch was jumping a little bit big to begin with, but now he's warmed up and is going with them. So as they go past the crowded and thrilled stands, back to you, Graham. Borough Hill Lad on the inside of Wayward Lad. Coombs Ditch going well, close up in third. So they head away into the country to the water jump. This is the tenth. Borough Hill Lad, Wayward Lad, Coombs Ditch. Borough Hill Lad on the inside. Wayward Lad on the outer, Coombs Ditch in third, another plain fence. This is the 11th. Wayward Lad on the right. And Borough Hill Lad, the better jump there. Come down towards the second last ditch, the 12th. Borough Hill Lad, Wayward Lad, Coombs Ditch. Borough Hill Lad from Wayward Lad. Beautiful jump from Borough Hill Lad, absolutely magnificent. Wayward Lad is in uh, second place, just gets a slap down his shoulder there. Coombs Ditch is in third, not done with, seven to jump. And John Oxy, John Frankham having none of this being out jumped, is he? No, he really went for a long one there and got it. Uh, a marvellous sight, and what a race this is now. Wayward Lad did just get a tap down the shoulder. He's not by any means on a tight rein, and Coombs Ditch isn't by any means out of it either. They're coming now towards the fence which ended Arkell's career in this race long ago, but let's hope that neither of them makes uh, that kind of mistake. No, they don't. They jump it beautifully, and Coombs Ditch isn't at all far behind them. Robert Earnshaw still sitting fairly motionless on Wayward Lad. He hasn't really asked him, and I think John will start asking Burry Hill Lad now. They both ping it together, and it's still not a foregone conclusion. What a marvellous race. Wayward Lad gets a reminder, gets another reminder. Got to be kept up to his work. There's five to jump. It's Borough Hill Lad, Wayward Lad and Coombs Ditch. They go into the fence together. Marvellous sight, that. Wayward Lad on the outside of Borough Hill Lad and Coombs Ditch back in third. They go to the last on the far side, the fourth from home. And it's Wayward Lad and Borough Hill Lad and Coombs Ditch creeping ever closer.
Booms it within a length and wayward lad Robert Earnshaw trying to ask that one to quicken. He's not finding a lot. And Burry Hill lad John Frankham's got the inside of him. But look at Colin Brown on Coombs Ditch just in behind these. What a race. They've got three more fences to jump. And it looks as if Wayward Lad is in distress and beginning to beat a retreat. Burry Hill lad going on from Coombs Ditch. Can Wayward Lad now back in third place find any reserves? It doesn't look as if he can. But it's Coombs Ditch, the challenger to Burry Hill lad. And Wayward Lad is out on his feet. They've got three more to jump. And it's Burry Hill lad from Coombs Ditch. Burry Hill lad on the inside. Coombs Ditch switched to the inside there. They've got two to jump. This is where John Franklin's going to have to ask Burry Hill lad to quicken. If it were a handicap, Coombs Ditch would be getting a stone and a half. But it's Burry Hill lad. Burry Hill lad from Coombs Ditch. Wayward lad back in third place, beaten in distress. They've got one more fence to jump. And it's Burry Hill lad on the right, Coombs Ditch on the left. And there's not that much to choose between the two of them as they come down towards the last. Burry Hill lad and Coombs Ditch. Burry Hill lad and Coombs Ditch. How do they meet? Are they meet it together. Burry Hill lad on the near side, Coombs Ditch on the far side. Both jockeys going for absolutely everything. Burry Hill lad and Coombs Ditch, nothing to choose between the two. Burry Hill lad sticking his neck out, but so too is Coombs Ditch. They're locked in combat up the line. Burry Hill lad and Coombs Ditch have gone past the post absolutely together. And the only sad sight of this King George VI chase is Wayward Lad, who was trailed in last and in afraid, looked in some distress, but was beaten some way out. And so the outcome of this King George VI steeple chase. The outcome is a photo between number one, Burrow Hill Lad, owned by Mr. Stan Riley, trained it up at Lambourne by Mrs. Jenny Pittman and ridden by John Frankham, if he's prevailed, John Frankham's 67th winner of the season, but it's mighty, mighty close because Coombs ditched the only other horse there in the picture. Number two, owned by Mr. R.J. Torrey, trained at Whitsbury by David Ellsworth and ridden by Colin Brown, has given Burrow Hill Lad the fright of his life.